on this video here we have a 4x3 PVC toilet flange which has been broken uh, due to years of use and the floor possibly being on uh, level uh, what we're doing here right now is we're sticking a rag down into the uh, pipe the waste pipe so that when we start to uh, chip pieces off of the uh, flange to get it ready to install the new one the uh, pieces of PVC that we break off will not go down into the uh, sewer system and we're just taking the hammer just to uh, get the uh, toilet flange totally loose now we're going to shove the rag down a little deeper to make it easier to uh, get to the uh, toilet flange and what we're doing here is we're going to cut a little slot out so that it'll make it easier for us to uh, chip the uh, remaining of the uh, toilet flange out of here and notice when we go to cut we're not going to cut too deep uh, we're going to cut it close enough so that when we start to chip the PVC pieces off of the pipe itself we're going to um, it'll make it a lot easier and right here we're using a screwdriver you can use a uh, chisel if you like but in a lot of cases some people uh, we do have screwdrivers that are easier to get to than a uh, chisel especially especially when you're in the middle of a job you notice how the uh, PVC breaks out easily you would think after years of being glued that uh, this wouldn't be possible but it is and what we're doing is when we go to chisel is we're finding the uh, right at the seam where the uh, fitting of the 4x3 flange is glued to the pipe and we're just wedging it right down between the seams and starting to pull the uh, flange away from the uh, PVC pipe and when I say 4x3 PVC toilet flange that means that the uh, this to particular to toilet flange can go inside a 4 inch pipe or on the outside of a 3 inch pipe and of course this here in the floor this PVC pipe here is 4 inch and if you were to uh, find one that is a 3 inch pipe and the uh, flange is going to the outside you can use this same procedure but you will have to probably more than most likely chip out some of the uh, cement around it to uh, get access down about three inches And the video, video that you're seeing to the uh, right side of you, that's the uh, video that is uh, up next. If you uh, want to click the uh, next button, and you can go to that video, which is uh, showing you how to uh, repair a uh, floor up under a toilet, a rotten floor, wood floor that's uh, been damaged uh of years of leaking okay now we're getting
pretty close to uh, removing most of the uh, chips that are on the side of the pipe. And we're going to continue to leave the rag down in there until we're, uh, we are done with the process of replacing the flames. Here we are, a 3 by 4 flush fit toilet flange. So when you do go to uh, replace this flange, remember to ask for a flush fit 4x3. And of course here, we're priming the uh, pipe. And the primer is going to start heating the pipe up and cleaning it so that when we do apply the glue and the combination of the primer and glue, kind of just uh, helps it adhesive together and fuse together real nice and strong so that you uh, have a nice tight seal and it won't come out on you. In most cases when you do a uh, flange like this and you glue it down like we're doing here you might want to leave it, leave it and let it uh, let it cure for about uh, two or three hours before you actually set the toilet in place. As you can see, this flange fit nicely. Thank you for watching.